we'll do one verse and two choruses of Ever Onward on page five of the songbook. <laughs> Uniforms, rules of conduct, rally songs. Sounds like the old alma mater, doesn't it? But this story is about the early revolutionary culture of one of the most influential companies of the information age, IBM. In 1914, when Thomas Watson Sr. joined IBM, then known as the Computing Tabulating Recording Corporation, morale was low and profits flat. But Watson was a strong leader with a modern vision. In a newly industrial world on the brink of automation, he foresaw the lucrative potential of business machines. He mobilized his employees to share the vision and together sell it to the world. Watson introduced new product lines, launched overseas divisions, and installed a new regimented business culture. He spurred his troops on with training and motivation, ranging from speeches and rally songs to a personal code of conduct. There's one thing that I want to pass out to the young men who are going out to sell goods. He wanted a sales force of morally fit, non-drinking, go-getters. Under no condition, allow anybody to tempt you to take one single drop of alcoholic liquor during business hour. Watson's business culture became legendary. He had IBM salesmen dress for success in dark suits, white shirts, and sincere ties. He sent them to IBM school. Most of all, Watson exhorted them to think. The young salesman is encouraged to study the record of actual IBM sales procedures in order to stimulate his own thinking. To think is most important of all, and IBM salesmen are impressed with the necessity of mental exercise each day. After class, salesmen in training socialized at the IBM homestead. The personal interest shown by IBM executives in each new man in these moments of close fellowship initiates the new man into the IBM spirit. Watson's culture extended to major sales rewards, company-wide incentives for staying with the business. Salesmen who met their quotas were inducted into the 100% club. And 25 years of service to IBM was rewarded with membership in the Quarter Century Club. Watson led IBM for 42 years, through two world wars, the Depression, global expansion, and into the age of modern computing. IBM dominated business computing throughout the 20th century. The idea of uniting employees through a shared mission and distinct corporate culture also caught on and thrives today. As for the rally songs, well, it's something to think about. Ever onward I be